dear my my friends the media fraternity i thank you for coming for having responded positively the invitation of our communication director and uh, always grateful to you to you for your cooperation fellow ugandans countrymen and women O oh, people of God, I joyfully greet you with the peace and grace of Christmas. Today, soon after the birth of the Savior, the heaven is opened down to us with a melodious song, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favors rests as we read in Luke 2, verse 14. How blessed are we to be so favored to the point of becoming children of God, a dignity that God has not even granted the angels. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have become your father, as we read in Hebrews 1 verse 5. Christmas is a celebration of our faith. We know and profess that God became man, as we read in John 1 verse 14, we praise all that is human except to see Hebrews 4 verse 15. And to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. This time of Advent has been preparing us to this event, giving us therefore a privileged opportunity to meditate on the meaning and the value of our existence. The approach of this ceremony helps us on the one hand to reflect on the drama of history in the many people injured by sin, are perennially in search of happiness and of feeling the feeling sense of life and death. On the other hand, it urges us to meditate on the merciful kindness of God, who came to man to communicate to him directly the truth that saves. And whenever him partake his friendship, and his life. It is for this reason that Emeritus Benedict, the sixteenth saint, that therefore let us prepare ourselves for Christmas with humility and simplicity, making ourselves ready to receive as a gift the light, joy, and peace that shine from this mystery. As we read, in the earth from, from, from Benedict XVI, when he gave the audience, general audience in December 17th, on December 17th, 2008. Christmas is a family celebration. In his Christmas message of the year 2020, the Holy Father, Francis, went on to stress that the beauty of Christmas shines through the sharing of small gestures and concrete love. The world became flesh in order to dialogue with us. God does not desire to carry on a, mono a, monologue, monologue, a monologue, but a dialogue. For God himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is a dialogue. An eternal and infinite communion of love and life. The degree of true joy and sharing in our families will tell the quality of our celebration of Christmas. Is this not what we learn from the Holy Father of Nazareth, from the Holy Family of Nazareth? And it came with haste 
and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. As we read in Luke 2, verse 16. So looking at our society and families today, especially in our country, Uganda, we cannot close our eyes to the following challenges. The effect of COVID-19, and now recently, Ebola outbreak. The loss of family values in society. The disappearance of some of our brothers and sisters who are still kept in incognito. The increasing poverty caused by the rise of prices for almost all commodities. The world economic recession, corruption, and abuse of office. Adversities and suffering rising from land grabbing. Uncontrolled road accidents that have caused the loss of many lives and of the innocent people. The rampant domestic violence, which is quite in today's society. It is for these reasons, dear brothers and sisters, that I humbly call upon you to remember that in the cold of the night, the baby Jesus stretches out his tiny arms towards us, calling us to strengthen open dialogue, to yearn more for reconciliation and fraternity, to keep the beauty of our land, as we read in Laudato Si, of Francis, well, at the same time, the voice of the angels from heaven continues to invite us. Peace be on earth. A Christmas is a call to walk together. By divine providence, we celebrated this Christmas when the Synod of Synodality by Pope Francis is still in progress. Its main theme is working together in communion, participation, and mission. As we celebrate Christmas for this year, 2022, I call upon all peace loving Ugandans, all the leaders in this country, be it political, religious, cultural, and local leaders, to work for peace and promote a just working together. Wherever possible, let us support all those who provide humanitarian aid to the needy, especially the refugees, the children, the sick, and the aged. Let us be a source of light and support for all those who believe and strive to promote dialogue. In celebrating the joy and peace of Christmas, let us remember to comfort the victims of violence against women, which has recently increased in time of the COVID pandemic. I know that through our pastoral structures, we can ably volunteer to offer hope to young children and adolescents suffering from bullying and abuse. While well, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, let me conclude with this prayer of St. Paul, St. John Paul II, which is prayed at Angelus in St. Peter's Square in 2003. May the Virgin Mary Help us to open the doors of our hearts to Christ. Redeemer of man and history, may she teach us to be humble because God looks upon the lowly. May she enable us to pray in understanding the value of prayer, of inner silence, of listening to God's word. May she help us to seek God's will deeply and sincerely even when this upsets our plans. She encourages us when we wait for the Lord, sharing our time and the energies with those in need. 
Mother of God, virgin of expectation, Brother God, will find us ready to receive the abundance of his mercy. May Mary, most holy woman of the Eucharist and virgin of Advent, prepare us all to joyfully welcome Christ's coming and celebrate worthily his sacramental presence in the mystery of the Eucharist. Amen.